What's up beautiful creators? Welcome back to another video. I'm super excited because today I want to present to you all the trailer for the first short film, first docu that I've ever created called If These Locks Could Talk. One of the things that's so amazing about locks is that they're all so unique because our hair is so unique. It's almost like a fingerprint. I learned how lucky we are to have that kind of opportunity to express ourselves. So the reason why I decided to create this film was because as you can see, I have locks and I've been having locks for about five years. In 2018, kind of like that conversation about the natural hair community started to be spoken about once again. We always talk about our hair. We've always dealt with um, the issues in the world with our hair when it comes to stereotypes or black people. And I just felt like at that time, the conversation was coming back because so many films were coming out about our hair. Uh, one that inspired me was by Matthew Cherry called Hair Love. And so with that, it was about a father trying to do his daughter's hair, her natural hair. And to me, and to just really show the love for our natural hair. And so to me, I felt like as that conversation started to arise again, locks were left out of the conversation. You always get that one token person in a commercial or a film that has locks, but there was nothing that celebrated locks in its entirety because if you think about it, it's the most natural state you can get your hair. If you think about Jay-Z and J. Cole, The Weeknd, but all of these people had freeform locks. That is the most natural you can get your hair. And what they decided was, I'm gonna let my hair grow out of my head in any way it wants. I'm gonna let it do what it does and boom, that's how you get freeform locks. With me, I have palm, palm rows, so I decided to kind of create some kind of cohesive look with my hair, but it's still growing out of my head. And so with that, I wanted to kind of create a safe space that showed the celebration, love, community, and joy that we had when it came to our locks because there was no place that did that. And it was important to me because I felt like there's so many stereotypes when it comes to locks. We're still dealing with that in 2022. We literally just had to pass the Crown Act, a law that says you cannot discriminate because of my hair. Like, it's crazy that we still needed to do that in 2022. There have been young students who could not graduate unless they cut their hair off or kids who couldn't play sports because they had locks. And I say all that to say, if you have an idea and it's true, near and dear to your heart, it doesn't matter all what you have and what you don't have as far as gear, please make sure that you get it out of your mind and you bring it to fruition and just create it. What did we shoot this film with? So when it came to gear, I decided to shoot this film with the C200s because they were already presented to us. And so y'all know in my previous YouTube videos, I was in love with the C200. I was using it a lot. And so I was like, why not shoot with the C200? I think it has this really beautiful, soft look already. What it really doesn't matter what lens you put on it. The C200, the sensor, it just creates this beautiful, soft look. Canon creates beautiful, soft, um, images and so for me we shot two c200s we had an a and b camera and then of course we had to bring out some canon fd lenses to me they provide this really vintage look and i wanted to bring all the colors into this green like vintage look that you all saw in the trailer we shot with a black magic as well my black magic 6k i had really just got the camera so it's probably like my second time using it which is why on the bts videos you see all the wires happening and when I look at it now, I'm like, Brittany, what the heck was you doing? But we shot with the Blackmagic 6K and we had the Sigma 1835 on that with some Pro Mist, which really paired nicely with the C200, creating like this soft images. And the Blackmagic and the C200 pair really, really well when it comes to the images and color. And so it wasn't hard to 
uh, color correcting post. So that all went really, really great. The gear we also, you know, was using pretty much natural sunlight. And we, I think we had an M18 that was kind of helping with the sun. And then we have a 12 by or a 20 by that was on top of them softening whatever light that was coming that way. We kept it really simple because again, we didn't have all the gear that we would have wanted because we didn't really have the huge budget that we really wanted. But again, it was really more so about the story that was being told. It was so important for me to shoot outside because I feel like with our hair, it's freedom. When it comes to freeform locks or locks of any of that matter, you cannot control locks. Like you can't, the most that you can do is get a retouch, but you cannot control how they look, how they come out. You can only do so much. And that's how I feel with nature. When you go hiking or you go outside and you just stand in grass, you hear the birds chirping, you hear the cars going past, you hear the kids playing, skateboarding, and you cannot control any of that. You literally just have to embrace it. And so that's how it is with locks. And so I felt like the best way to get this story out was finding a location that was outside and we found the most beautiful location on Pier Space. I was super excited that what I truly was envisioning actually came out the way that I thought. Again, in hindsight, there are a lot of things that I would have changed on how we shot it, but it came out so beautiful. The colors came out so beautiful. So I really like how it came out. Um, I learned so much about it and I hope you all just continue to create your films, go out and make your films regardless of the gear, Find people who believe in your story, see what they have and come together and create what it is that you need to create. Overall, I am completely satisfied. If it doesn't do anything or if it didn't do anything, I was just completely happy that we got it done. So right now it has been selected into three film festivals. It is going on a festival run. We also had a small LA screening for all the people that were involved, the crew and the cast. And we flew to DC because Issa's company, Hooray, is actually our executive producer. So we flew to DC and we were able to have another private screening there, which is the lot capital. It was received so well. And we're, we're just so thankful for all the support. Um, again, if, 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 if it doesn't win any award show, the fact that we got it out there and we're getting the story told and people are seeing representation and they're seeing themselves and they're hearing stories, everybody's story is so unique and so different on why they decided to get locks. And it just brings this community together. And so we celebrate our locks, we love our locks, and we're just so thankful that we now have a safe space for it. I wanna do so much more with this film so much more with this story even make potentially make a feature doc but until then i'm super excited with if these locks could talk and i hope you all really really enjoyed it let me know your thoughts down below what you just think about the film i have not brought it to youtube because it's going through the festival run so we haven't even really been pushing too too much but let me know what you think about it in the comments below if you have any questions um i will be glad to answer them make sure you are subscribed to my youtube channel Thank you all so much for watching. This means so much for me. And I pray that you all have a great, fabulous day. Love y'all.